guys, Emily here. Today we are going for a drive out to Kurumba to check out the venue and go through all of the inclusions. But first we're going to check out our house block and see the progress on our build. We went for a sneaky drive out last night and they've got our frame out there. So we wanted to check it out in the daylight. finished having a tour of Karumba. What did you think Josh? I thought it was absolutely spectacular. Beautiful. <laughs> Love it. So it was really nice. There's just a few things that we thought we were going to be able to do that we can't do which we'll have to weigh up and we might look at one other venue that we really like the look of. It's just a little bit more expensive and it is in New South Wales so it is a bit more of a drive but I'll probably send some emails off and coordinate having a look at that one as well just so we've got uh, a bit more information to compare venues by. Do you have anything to add, Josh? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to be on the camera. <laughs> anyway, we are going to go and head up now to Toowoomba this afternoon to go and see our family after we grab a birthday present for Josh's sister-in-law and drop it off because it's her birthday today. And we're going to go celebrate our engagement with my parents. Okay, so let's recap to cover. I've just gotten ready to go out to dinner. We're about to drive to Toowoomba to go see my family to celebrate our engagement. And we got back from Karumba. They gave us this package, which is just a printout of the digital package that they gave us anyway online. Just going over the costs and accommodation and all of that fun stuff. So there was a couple of things that we weren't too sure on with the venue. There were some noise constraints. We'd really like to have a string quartet, but due to neighbors' complaints that are close, close by to Kurumba, their, their residence, um, we can't have a string quartet. We can only have a, a trio. Not that big of a deal. It's not a deal breaker for us. It's just something to consider. Um, and we also can't go back down and do our first dance in the chapel, which was something that we were really excited to be able to do. This is their open air chapel out the back. So beautiful. Um, and I would have loved to do our first dance down there, but unfortunately we can't. And their dance floor is further away from where the tables and chairs and people are sitting are. So I'm not sure if that will prevent people from getting up and dancing. We do have um, our guest list is slightly older people. Uh, but yeah, it's a beautiful venue. They've got photos in this printout. It's a lavender farm and vineyard out in Boona. I did give Summer Grove, which is one of the other venues that's like my top consideration is just decently more expensive. <laughs> A call they don't have any dates for 2024 in September or October left available uh, but we're gonna go and check that out tomorrow and I will take you guys along for that journey so we're about to head up to Toowoomba to go out to dinner with my parents we are going to George Banks the rooftop bar which is a venue we are looking at for our engagement party as well so it'll be great to celebrate have some dinner with them we've got family Josh's family's in Brisbane and my family's in Toowoomba so if we can kind of split our celebrations it makes it a little bit easier for people to travel um, we'll check that one out I will also show you what that venue looks like if I'm not too shy to pull out my camera while we're having dinner and I will give you guys a little rundown on our plans for our engagement party after this video. I 
guys we are getting ready for day two of having a look at wedding venues it is sunday we are going for a drive out to tweed today to new south wales to check out summer grove estate josh you keen to go for a drive today i'm oh, definitely in this beautiful uh miserable weather <laughs> it's raining so we're gonna pack umbrellas side note how beautiful are these flowers that i grew in my garden i'm actually gonna try my hand at growing my own wedding flowers so this is where this idea came from. So I've got some Cosmos, some Zinnia and some Dahlias in here. These are so pretty. Like with yesterday though, I'm gonna take you guys along for the drive today. We'll go check out this venue, let you know our thoughts and put the package information together. In total transparency, we're probably looking at around $17,500 for a Kurumba venue wedding for 2024. Summer Grove, I'm not entirely sure on their complete packages yet, um, but from when I priced it out onto my spreadsheet, it's around $20,800. So it is more pricey of a venue. That's inclusive of food and accommodation villas for five couples. Kurumba is inclusive of food, but it does not include accommodation. Stand Road trip food from Cafe 63. So we just got to Summer Grove. The weather is a little bit iffy at the moment, a bit on and off, but we're going to go have a look around. What are your first impressions driving in, Josh? I think it's beautiful, really. Like it's nice and high, and I can actually see the Gold Coast in the background. You know, the yeah. city. It's beautiful. I'm gonna go have a look. We'll take you with us. Glassware is inclusive. We've got the um, property here, sorry, and um, they open this to us so you can do um, outdoor dancing. To us. <laughs> I don't know what my camera just decided to really yeah, like on Zoom then. Those florals for today. Yeah. <laughs> All that aircon's nice. Yes. Come out to a nice spot. Me two white bench chairs included here, so two for the side and two for the signing table. It's be the same signing table that we saw. Send it till 10:30. Uh, just leaving Summer Grove now. I think it was so beautiful. What are your thoughts, Josh? Yeah, I definitely like it more than uh, Karumba. Yeah. Beautiful view. I like the chapel. I like the inclusions the setup yeah it's definitely a little bit better yeah but i definitely love it more yeah we'll have to have a look at the prices and inclusions and just kind of compare it the accommodation there is super close they give you brekkie and lunch while you're getting ready and they've got the private beauty room on site to get ready in so you're not traveling as far which i feel like we'll get more than out of our photographers and videographers with packages too so just some things to consider but it's definitely very beautiful there I love it, love it yeah too. I feel like that was a really intense weekend we did heaps of wedding stuff on Friday we also had a meeting with a photographer and we just finished a videographer zoom call as well at 3 30 so I think we're gonna lock those guys in as our videographers we're still gonna have a chat to a few more photographers and sort out an engagement photo shoot as well but um, I think we're ending up going to go with Summer Grove for our venue. They only had two dates left for November, uh, for 2024. One was in November and one was in August. So I think we're going to go with that November 2024 date that they have, which will be super exciting. And um, yeah, I'll keep you guys updated in the next video what our next steps are from there, sorting out deposits and finding more vendors. But I do have a little checklist somewhere hidden behind me. Here we go. 
Um, so in, in our first section of the checklist, it's got setting dates, creating inspo and mood boards, picking your wedding party, although being so far out, we probably won't do that until a little bit closer to, writing guest lists, deciding on wedging, wedding budgets, conducting vendor interviews, booking the venue, saving the date prep, so organizing save the date cards and stuff. We do have family that have to travel, so we will do that for some of them. And this date is just before the end of Christmas school holidays. So I feel like we will need to let our guests know in advance. Um, organizing wedding insurance, which I don't think we need or have to do here in Australia. That one, this is more of a, a US specific list. And then booking in rehearsals. And then it goes on to the next lot of stuff. So we'll go through that checklist, organize all that stuff. I'll go through my mood boards and share all my ideas and inspiration with you in a separate video. But until then, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and I will see you next time. Bye.